Welcome to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. I've had a lot of people email me and put comments in asking about layer masks. Now layer masks is kind of a, not something you'll find in Photoshop Element 6 ordinarily, but I have found a solution that we're going to add to Photoshop Element 6 to kind of extend its usability. So let's go ahead and get started um, right away because this, uh, this may be a little bit long uh, topic here. And there's going to be a couple steps um, that we're doing that you just have to follow along in the video and maybe watch it a couple times and then you'll understand it better. First we're going to go onto the internet and open up either Internet Explorer, Firefox, whichever one you use. And we're going to go into this uh, website right here. I will have a link with this posted um, next to the video. You'll see a link. Just click on it and it will take you in here. What these are called is, this is called Grants Tools. And it adds all these functions to Photoshop Element 6. Uh, functions that aren't there, like action curves, um, action selections, channels, uh, different channels uh, for red, green, and RGB, some, some guides. Um, and it adds masks, layer masks. So that's something that people have been asking for and it's very easy to install this it's just it takes a couple steps so just follow along let's go ahead first and we're going to download the actual tools ourselves and he made these grants uh, made these for all different versions of elements as you can see we're going to go down here and click on the uh, abbreviated tools under uh, element 6 let's click on that and if you've never downloaded it before just follow along it's very simple we're going to save to disk. That's what you want to do. Click OK. It's going to ask us where do we want to save it to. And I'm going to go into here, my computer. And I had created a download folder. So I'm going to the download folder. And then we're just going to create a new folder up here. Click on create a new folder. And we're going to call this grants tools. Hit your enter key, hit it again to lock it in, then hit save. It's a very small download, so if you have a broadband connection it's going to be very fast. And then just go ahead and close that out. Now let's open up the start button and go into my computer. You can go right back to wherever you download that. See that's why I created a download folder. That's why I always know where to find things. I'm going here and look for Grants Tools. Double click that. Now to uncompress this, if you just right click on it and go down to Extract All. It's going to come up with this nice little message. Just keep clicking Next. It's going to extract it. And we are got that extracted. Show Extracted Files. That's probably a good idea. We'll go right in, and here's our new file folder. Open this up, and then there's a README file right here, Install. Let's double-click that so we can just follow along with how are we supposed to do this. Yeah, we're going to right-click on this, and we'll do an Open With. And let's open it with WordPad so we can see the actual document. A little, little clearer. Now it works on both. I did put this on my Mac. It works on Macs and it does work on Windows. I'm going to show you the window tutorial right now and the Mac tutorial just follow along with the directions. That's what I did and it works very well. I'll close that second box there so we can kind of see what's going on here. Now what it says to do, it's very simple. Open the actions and PNGs folder and place the items in this folder. Here's the folder we're going to look for. Alright, so actions and PNGs. We're going to double click that. Go up to edit, select all. Edit again, and then we're going to copy this. 
Now, what folder do we want to place it in? We are going to place it in Documents and Settings, All Users. I like to open up another My Computer just so I can leave that one open. So open up another My Computer, go into the C Drive, Documents and Settings, All Users. Now, if you don't see Applications Data, see that little how it's kind of blurred out? That means those are hidden file, hidden file folders. What you need to do is go to Tools, Photo, or yeah, Folder Options, I'm sorry, Folder Options. Go to View, and then make sure you have this checked right here, Show Hidden Files and Folders. Click OK, and then you will see the Application Data folder. Let's pull this down and see where we're supposed to go next. Adobe, here's Adobe, Photoshop Elements, then you go to 6, the version we're currently working with, Photo Creations, and then Photo Effects. Now here's all the other different plugins and uh, different styles we have in Actions. You could just right click in here and click on paste and that's going to paste those in there. I didn't do that step because I already have them loaded so I'm just kind of following along here so you know what to do. Next, once you get those loaded it says to open up the XML file folder and you're going to copy those. So let's go back to our folders, back up, XML file folders, edit, select all, edit, we're going to copy those tells you where to put those. Then you're going to go to All Users, Application Data. Let's go back up. Okay. Photoshop Elements, Adobe Photoshop Elements, and 6, Local, and then US. And after US, we're going to look for Photo Creations or Photo Effects. Here's the photo creations right here. And then after that, photo effects. And we're going to paste the XMLs into here. Again, you can just right click and click on paste. And that'll paste those into there. Once we do that, we have to do one more thing. We got to change the database because it's going to write a new database for us. So we're going to go into all users, application. I'm sorry. Next, rename the meta database it's a DB3 file you name it to old and it's located in documents and settings again this is based on Windows XP you can see here there's a Windows Vista also because there's a little bit different file locations documents and settings all users application Adobe Photoshop local so let's go back up Photoshop local US and then here's the database file you see it right here all you want to do is right click on that and go down to rename I like to just put my mouse right here and you rename it just like I did with this one here old and at that point you're finished up now we can close all this let's close this let's close this out close this one out and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to launch your Adobe Photoshop Element 6. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's minimize this because we're done with that at this point. I'm going to go right into the editor show you exactly what this looks like once you finish this up. We're going to go to launch Photoshop Element 6 editor and when you first relaunch this, give us some time folks, it's going to take a little bit of time to rebuild the database. It does that from scratch. So give it some time, be patient, let it build, don't stop it. If you stop it, you're going to kind of ruin your uh, Element 6 installation. You're going to have to end up rebuilding your whole installation again, so don't mess it up. Uh, the reason I'm showing this to you is because I want to do some tutorials of using these different uh, layers and uh, masks and these different... Let's pull this down a little bit. Let that load up. And hopefully we'll run out of our 10 minute time limit here. Um, just to let you know, I'm working with another company uh, for the videos called Viddler.com. Check them out. Viddler, V-I-D-D-L-E-R.com slash Jack's Tech Corner. 
Check those out. They're much higher resolution. Now you can see with this on the third one, which says photo effects, we can pull this down. And then we have Grants Tools. And there you go. We have all the new Grants Tools in our Photoshop Element 6. Well, hopefully it helped you out. If you get stuck, email me, jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Thanks, folks. Go and get these things loaded up so we can start on our way to uh, further educating you on more fun with our pictures. I'll see you back here soon, and bye for now.